SIO to PC. Now, most people know how to use the Respect software to load games and whatever other uh, software there is, ATR, uh, files, EXE files, COM files, etc. Uh, but what if you don't have a 1050, you do have your SIO to PC and you want to save programs that you wrote on your Atari? Well, it doesn't seem to be a whole lot of information on this, at least I couldn't find it. So I figured, why not make a video on it? So that's your video for today. All right, first things first. First thing we're going to do is load your or mount your favorite DOS. In my case, I used a really simple DOS, which is, uh, I think it's Super DOS. So we're going to go here. We're going to look for Super DOS. And I believe I used uh, 5.1. Should work with all of them, but. All right, we're gonna commit the changes. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, in the next drive, drive two, we're gonna go to disk. We're gonna say new disk image. Okay, notice the window that pops up. You're gonna get either single density, standard enhanced, so forth. For now, just use single standard or standard single density. Okay, and you can name the uh, the amount that you created. So you can say save, give it a name. For example, uh, my Atari Progs. All right. Notice it's going to save as an ATR. decided all right and now we're gonna go ahead and commit the changes and the next thing we're gonna do is boot it up on the Atari all right so here we are on the Atari it's booted up get you a little better of a view here and we're gonna go ahead and go to DOS all right so now we're in DOS and remember, we have disk one and disk two. So if I say, give me a directory of disk two, which is the empty one that we mounted, and we're going to say D2. You'll notice that it says zero free sectors. Well, that's because it hasn't been formatted. So the next thing we want to do is format it. So you're going to hit, in this case, we're going to hit I. It's going to ask me, what drive do you want to format? It's drive 2 in my case. And single density, which is what I chose on the PC side. Okay. And then click yes. Okay. So now when we do a directory again of the same drive, okay, and we say D2, You notice now it says 700 and free, 707 free bytes, okay? So now let's go ahead and go to the cartridge, run basic, for example. And yes. All right, so now we're in basic, Atari basic, okay? So notice that we have nothing in here. Okay, so we're gonna create an amazing program. Sorry about that. I keep hitting it with my other hand. All right. So if we run this program, we have hello there, Atari fans. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and save this file. So we're going to say save. You remember where we mounted the uh, the blank folder is going to be actually on drive D, uh, drive two. So we're going to go D two. Give it a name. Uh, test uh, five BAS. 
Okay, and hit return. And you'll notice that it saved. All right, or did it? Let's go to DOS. All right, so now let's go to that directory. We're going to go to D2 again. Oops. Uh. All right, so you have test BAS, and now we have 706 free sectors. Okay. So now let's go ahead and go back to uh, basic. We're going to delete whatever is in memory, and we're going to load it. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, delete basic and run the basic cartridge. All right, and we do a list. You'll see there's nothing there, but we can load it. Let's load it. In my case, it's loaded in D2. And I called it test 5, I believe. And if we list now, Okay, and then we run it. And there you have it. Now you can use your uh, Atari SIO to PC and without a 1050 or anything else and still be able to save your own files, whether in basic or assembler or whatnot, and make amazing programs like the one I just made. All right, guys, take care, have fun. Any questions, please feel free to leave them.